Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at tariffyhealing.com. I hope you're doing really well. And I am doing a reading and I'm hoping everything goes okay because I've made this video like a couple of times um trying to do a reading and it the energy's just fell off and I don't like that. So I um made the made this video all over again and all over again and all over again. But what I was showing in the other video which got too long was that I do have some new decks and I'm going to be reading with them now I have to bear in mind I'm going to be using like my own feelings and vibes with these decks like whatever I feel is going to be coming through that's what I'm going to be uh telling you um because I have not read the book for this one and this one I've read like parts of the book but to be honest, I don't necessarily feel that you always have to use the book as, you know, it's a choice if you want to use it as a guide. I will be reading them eventually, but because I'm just really excited about using them and I just feel really guided to, I am going to use them in this week's reading. And this week's reading is from the 16th to the 22nd. And this is a struggle to get out the box. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's the butterfly. Type. And it's just such a cute deck and the back is really nice. Because I really like blue. Blue is like my favorite color. Especially dark blue like this. So, and it has butterflies, which is even better. So that's why I was really anxious for this deck to come out. And um, I'm going to pick one card from the Asher Guides deck. And then two from the Butterflies deck. I'm going to see what comes through for us. Now I'm going to shuffle the cards with the intention of giving us a message to all my YouTube people out there. For next week, which is the 16th, I believe to the 22nd. So let's shuffle up these cards. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Da 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 da. Oh, loss. That's the first card. Healer, healer guides. So that's the first card. Let me see about the others that are going to come through. Okay. Oh, we have. You are stronger than you know. Oh, my days. I love that. Oh, it's beautiful. Like this. Finances. Right. So we have three cards. And let's look at the underneath card. New exercise program. That's interesting. What's the underneath card for this one? Ooh, death and guardian angels. Okay. So what I'm kind of seeing in these cards is this week is a very transformational week. So I think I'm actually using the right deck because the message is definitely one of changes and transformations coming through. Um, but the lost card is kind of speaking to me about the card showing up underneath, which is the deaf one. So there's something about something being out of our lives, something that is no more and it's not there. And there's a grieving, there's a sadness that could be attached to it or a longing. And I think, you know, whenever something is taken away from us, it's always difficult. It's always a process. And, but to be honest, I'm not feeling like, I don't want people to get worried, like they're going to think, oh my God, somebody passing away. La, la, la. But what I'm kind of seeing with these cards, especially with the finance one and you're stronger than you know, is that for some people, this could be a work situation. So it could be actually losing a job or losing a stream of income, losing something that maybe you was at one point dependent on. But what I enjoy with these cards, um, cause the other day I was like properly like looking through the, um, Asher guides cards. And what I really love is that some of these, quite a few of the cards have these hands that come through and they're always kind of large hands. And it's almost like they're telling you that you're okay in this situation. I think the thing that is always, it's very, um, it's always associated with low mood or any sort of sadness or upset or even depression is that we always tend to feel alone at those times. We always tend to feel like we don't have support or even if we have people around us, we feel like we have to go through this all by ourselves. And it's kind of like with these hands that are coming through, it's almost saying that there is a support system around you. 
there are people that can reach out to you and help you at this time but there's just a lot of grief and I kind of feel like um we can get so caught up in what or in in what we perceive like if something isn't going right it's like that becomes our main focus in life and then we can't see anything about you know what is going good for us we can't see none of that stuff all we can focus on is what is wrong with the situation and that just makes our mood lower it just makes us feel worse about the situation and it also doesn't really help us to find a solution or um, be able to resolve it in any kind of way so it's like a lot of the time our behaviors at the time of struggle can a lot of the time be actually counterproductive and trust me i know that because you guys kind of <laughs> you guys kind of have an idea of what I've, I've been going through and with this kind of stuff so uh, i think you know the the you know i can kind of grasp where this card is coming from especially if this is applying to somebody else and their situation of feeling a sense of loss and um, feeling like they don't have that support is kind of saying that you have to try your best which is a difficult thing but you have to try your best to kind of see things from the bigger picture of what is going on here and know that whatever is is being removed it's not permanently removed certain things may go for a time or even if something you know particular maybe doesn't even come back that is gone we have to always go through that process of trying to release it and just trying to be able to find a way of coping with the situation at hand and and know that every opportunity that comes into our life is is a, is is for something significant for us to grasp from that situation um you may not see that big message now but the message will definitely come down the line and you are stronger than you know it basically you know that's, that's another card i can resonate with too is that what this card is saying is you never know how strong you are until you've gone through some stuff in life like when things are fine it's so easy to just sell through life and, and it's okay and it's it's easy to be high vibrational it's easy to be spiritual it's easy to be miss positive optimistic everything but when you're really going through it it is so difficult to find that part of yourself because it is again all your focus could be going into the thing that you lost the thing that didn't go right the thing that didn't go well for you and then sometimes your mind can even travel to places where you start to think of maybe other lost opportunities that you've experienced and then you it goes to oh am i good enough you know you know maybe i'm not good enough maybe i wasn't deserving maybe you know and you start to doubt your whole self and lose confidence and so what this card is saying is that you you still have the strength within yourself to continue on this isn't gonna stop you it's not going to hinder you you have to just look at this as okay this has happened it's hard i feel sad but okay i have to pass through this time in order to feel better by the end of things and so i truly believe like i even mentioned in my other video about giving yourself the time that you need to feel angry to feel sad but not to stay too long in that space only because then it can turn into being more uh harmful to you in the long run and um so it's like you have to give yourself that time period but i really love this card because of this this beautiful pink flower and you know pink is is a hot chakra color as well so i'm kind of feeling like it's saying that within yourself like almost like within your heart you have that strength within you know within you it doesn't matter if maybe you've been through a lot of things or maybe you've never had to really be strong in like in the way you've had to now because maybe you're experiencing something you've never been through before but at the same time it's for you to kind of go through that period go through that experience and it will definitely make you stronger when you come out the other side of it so that's a really beautiful card i don't know why it's getting dark all of a sudden like it was so bright uh, just a minute ago <laughs> it's like they knew i was making a video like the the sky just knew <laughs> let's just be dark all of a sudden anyway um the next card is finances which i sh just showed um not that long ago and that's kind of the thing that i'm kind of feeling could be the loss in this situation and 
something about this butterfly i don't know i look at it and obviously a butterfly is a natural creature and everything i can't even see it that well how dark it is actually when i hold it back you see it better um but what this what it feels to me i don't know why but when i just looked at it just now i just the first words that came into my mind was organization so i'm kind of feeling like somebody may 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 have been working for a certain organization or a legal practice something like that like i don't know but some, there's something really serious about these about this energy that i get from this card for some reason and it, it's it's like somebody that had a job that it was really structured in some kind of way like really you know like really like you work for a big like authority or something like that not like you know just a little retail thing or something not nothing like that <laughs> something like it was a big thing and for you it i i think because you got so much into a routine or into a way of working and again i feel that there was some kind of accomplishment in this job like you really felt like you had made it to a certain level in your career and so that might be why the loss is like maybe hard to deal with but then it's kind of saying that um just like these cars just like these butterflies wh whenever something is lost it brings an opportunity for something else to take its place so in time something will take its place and it can be just as good or even better but it's kind of like the difficult thing for us is going with the flow of things because we're used to things being very structured for ourselves we want we want the things that we want right now and if it's not that way it can be so difficult to deal with that you know and but again i think that's just the universe's way to say trust me like believe in me like allow me to guide you allow me to be you know your support system at times when you need that support and so i i think that's the lesson we have to learn here so regardless of whether like these cards that directly apply to you and um, whoever's watching or your situation i'm kind of feeling like that is the general message that i feel should be applied to everyone this week about letting the universe guide you and trusting in the universe and not feeling like you have to have so much control over your life and control over everything because i think whenever we feel like we want to control something that's always when the universe switches things up and is like no like <laughs> you're not the one in control here kind of situation like you have to kind of follow me you have to kind of you know fall in line sometimes so that's kind of what i feel with these cards and then this was an interesting one that was underneath a new exercise program so it's kind of showing that something you may develop out of this situation but this message i kind of feel like um it could be saying that a good way of dealing with lower moods is through exercise and is through being active because you know um, when we exercise we release endorphins that um make us feel happier so exercise can be a really good way to focus your energy and to also yeah to burn your energy too to burn some fat as well which is really good I and mean, i could do with some of that too and um i think you know it can just put you in in more positive space so that might be a good thing as well for some of you guys to think about so peace and many blessings to you i'll see you before this video turns pitch black okay Bye.